A former Navy SEAL takes a lesson learned in combat and turns it into a successful business. That he did. In less than 24 hours, he surpassed $15,000 on Kickstarter. And new at 7, the 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullen shows what makes it so unique. <laughs> My primary weapon, an assault rifle. You name it. A full complement of, of magazines. Nick Norris had it in his arsenal during his 10 years as a Navy SEAL. Fragmentary grenades, rockets. He wore a lot of armor and packed a lot of heat, which made the blistering sun in Iraq more brutal. You're sitting there almost like in a, you know, a torture chamber, just being slowly cooked alive. You go scrub camo face paint off your face and you're scrubbing sunburn and you know your lips are blistered and, and cracked. It's horrible and it's miserable and it's probably everything that you think it is. But that's when they bonded. They're brothers. And they were almost unstoppable. You go into deployments thinking like, hey, nothing bad can ever happen. Reality came crashing down. Obviously you're crushed. Um, he knew there was a chance he could come home in a casket, but it was his friend, Brendan Looney, who was killed in a helicopter crash during his final mission in Afghanistan. Flying home next to his body, dug into his heart. I'm sorry. You know how difficult it's going to be for their family to, to deal with that. And now he's worried skin cancer is a killer creeping up on vets. I think it is a big deal, and I think it's, you know, it's going to haunt me and a lot of other people. So he launched Predator War Paint. It's SPF 50 and water and sweat resistant. But this isn't your standard sunscreen. We're talking about the war paint they wear in combat. When it's kill or be killed, there's no time to worry about sunscreen, but they have to camo up. We're not saying that like our product is like a cure to skin cancer, like it's gonna fix everything. But it could add to their arsenal, and it's his way of shielding those who protect us. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Such a fantastic idea. Right now, it's about $20, but they're trying to drop the price. Even the military is starting to buy it.